So we have a project and we currently have a single branch. What is that branch called? Master. And master is the branch that is typically our... Um, functional state. So in industry, a master branch usually represents a shippable application or a piece of the application that is actually in a working state. So what we want to do is create um, one or more, what, two branches here and look at how we use branches to manage adding code to a project and then how we merge those branches back into the master branch. Okay. So typically a branch, each branch is created to hold a feature set. So let's go up to source control, go to our working copies and notice it says hello world master. That's because we're actually residing on the master branch. When you hover over it, a new options appear and we want to select new branch because we want to now do a branch off of master. It says create a new branch name and it even describes what it is and it's saying the branch will be created from master and it will switch to it and notice all uncommitted changes will be available on the new branch. Let's call this branch story board implementation. And in this branch, we're actually going to implement the UI for this application. So you'll want to name the branch based on the new feature that you'll be adding. And let's cr click create. Once you do that, you are automatically switched to that branch. And you can even see that by going up to source control, hello world storyboard implementation. We are now residing on that branch. This branch contains everything that master just contained but now we can actually make changes and commit changes without actually um, breaking master. So let's go to our storyboard. Let's add a label out onto our storyboard and let's just constrain that by control clicking, adding two constraints. And that is the entire UI for this application, don't you think, Dale? Yep. Are we going to also create the IB outlet for it while we're here? And we can even create the IB outlet. So let's bring up the assistant editor and control click over into our view controller and label and let's click connect. So we've created our UI and we've created the connections from our UI into our code. Let's save both those files. And notice once I save it, the M's appear for both those files. I'm going to get out of Assistant Editor. And I'm going to go up to Source Control, and I'm actually going to commit that code. So remember, commit is like local save. And we have our storyboard. I want to commit that, and I want to commit our change in code. So I'm going to say updated UI with a label. And I am actually going to check the push to remote. So just like earlier when you commit code and then push, this will actually simplify the steps by making it all one. And currently on GitHub, we don't actually have this branch yet. Right. And we can even see that by bringing up GitHub, going to branch, and we just have a single branch called master. So I'm going to go back to Xcode and I'm going to commit two files and push. Okay, we're now pushed and I see something happened over. And you'll actually see that at once you first push a branch. It says you've recently pushed branches, storyboard implementation. So I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to notice that it's still there, but I'm going to click branch and notice we have a new branch called storyboard implementation. And if I click this, I'm actually on that branch on the GitHub repository. I could select hello world. I can navigate inside the code. I can even go to the view controller and see that we've had our changes actually implemented in this. Now, at the top, we know branch storyboard implementation. I can actually now switch back and forth between those two branches on the GitHub repository, and you can see the changes in code happen right in front of our eyes.